how do I intro? I haven't done this in ages, how do I intro? Hello. Welcome. Shalom, Jackie. Okay, so basically, um, I don't know how to do an intro anymore. Oh well, I'm just gonna do this. Anyway, so recently where I live, there's been a vintage sale. Are you gonna say where you've been for like six months? No, I'm not. Where have I been for the past six months? Well, I've been working, doing a YouTube for Mob Kitchen. I'll leave a link in the description below, but now I'm back. I don't know how often I'm gonna do this, hopefully once a week, not just fashion, maybe a bit of film, not really too sure, but hopefully we'll do more of this, some vintage hauls, some clothing hauls, some film reviews, some film vlogs, maybe even other vlogs. I don't know, let's just see where this goes. But anyway, where I live recently, they've been doing these factory warehouse sales for vintage clothing, this company called Latham Street Vintage. I'll leave a link for them as well, because I'm just gonna plug them. Um, but yeah, they've been doing vintage sales, and I went to the first one last month, and it was quite good. Got a bunch of stuff for 60 quid, and then they're doing the last one, last one which was like beginning of September, I don't know when this video is going to go up, so who really cares? And yep, yeah, so um, they did a half price sale because it's their last one of the summer, and I spent 60 quid and bought about 20 items. So let's do a try on haul. We'll start from the top with the jackets. I've just got a massive IKEA bag here full of just clothes, uh, and then we're going to run through all of these. So first up, uh, we've got this Adidas. Adidas? It's Nike. This Nike gilet. Now, I just tried this on, and I thought there's a rip here. Um, I'm probably going to try and sew that up. I can't sew f but I'll find someone who can. We'll sew it up. Luckily, this thing's reversible, so you can just have the white side here, um, and it looks kind of hard. The little white Nike tick here, and on the back it's got a navy one here, and on the reverse it's got a white tick on the navy, and a white tick on the back. Kind of just cool colour blocking. I just saw it at Nike and I thought, yep, I'm having that. Don't know what size it is really, to be honest. Um, but yeah, this was a fiver, so I mean, I'm not really gonna say no. It's like a good, good kind of find. Next up, another gilet. This is a robe de capa, and it's a Y large, which means it's an extra large. I think it's still Italian. I'm not too sure, but it's like navy um, with a, like a royal blue sort of inside and some red accents. It's made in Hong Kong as well. Um, it's got a cool little inner pocket here, and I mean, this thing's huge. This thing is massive. It's a bit too big for me, but really cares. Next up is this bright little piece. Um, basically, so I was looking through the windbreaker section for some reason, because um, I thought, yes, let's get some Nike windbreakers. And I saw this little logo. And now, if some of you don't know what that logo is, it's the Marlboro logo. And I know some Mar Marlboro used to do like vintage clothing. Well, they do. They used to do clothing. And so I thought, yo, if there's, if there's some vintage Marlboro here, it'd be quite cool. And um, it's Marlboro Leisure Wear. It's an XL, I haven't tried it on. It's also, I didn't notice this until I got in the car, but you can't really see that because this, this thing is so thin. Um, it's got Marlboro Leisure Wear there in white screen print, which is quite cool. It's a full zip down. I think it's more like a, a shell windbreaker. It's got some reflective stuff on there, which is quite cool. Apart from that, this is a really cool piece. This is a Marlboro bright orange, bright orange? Oh God. Bright yellow Marlboro jacket that sounds like a whatever that does. Next up, last time I went there, I found a Carhartt work shirt, and this time I found a Levi's work shirt. Um, this is also a size medium instead, um, which is a bit smaller. It's got two pockets there. It's like a nice tan beige colorway. I don't know. It looks cool when it was £2.50, so I mean, I'm not really gonna say no. It's really nice, and I quite like it. It's just a, it's just a beige shirt, really, isn't it? I mean, the cool thing on the pockets is they're not shaped like normal pockets. They're like kind of like Western pockets or whatever. That's the Levi's shirt. This next piece was an absolute find. It was the first piece I found when I got there, and it was just sitting in the rail, and I thought, why has no one picked this up? It's a sweater, but I think it's a women's sweater. However, it's like a Playboy sweater, and it says the new Playboy on it, and like some highlighter gradient print, red and black. So it's small. I, I don't even think it's real Playboy, but it's just so hard. Um, I think it's women's, because this thing is tight on the bottom. That is thin. But yeah, it's a really nice piece. It's got a cool like red stripe through the middle. But yeah, that's the Playboy thing. It's probably one of my favorite pieces I found. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Next up, this is right next to where the Nike one was. And it's another gilet. Uh, this is just, I don't know if it's even real. It's a Prada gilet. Um, looks tiny, to be honest. It's got a little break on the side, which I didn't notice, but it does say it is Prada. The A has come off on the Prada on one side, on that side. Again, five pound wasn't a huge issue. It's tiny though, it's just a weird Prada gilet. Now, these were a bit of a random buy. I don't really know. I, I don't know if I'm gonna even, I might even keep these myself because I don't think I can get rid of them. Um, but they're these Adidas track pants. 
and they just reminded me of the, the ones that Round 2 have done recently with uh, their collection and I just I just thought it looked like a cool sample thing that they'd used. Just an adder, size large I think, what size is it? Size 32. So yeah, this probably could fit me actually. Um, but it's just like a, it's like a, it's like a hiking pant. But I think, I, can, I don't know, I might be able to style it. But anyway, it looks really cool, just some nice beige track pants. Right, so they had a table there that was just full of denim. And we just thought, let's just go through as much denim as possible. So we got three pieces at the end, um, two of which are the same wash. They're all like 30 to 32 leg. Uh, I got a white piece and two black wash. So the first ones are the white ones. These, oh my God, they are reflective. And um, these are a 31 waist, 32 leg. They are stitched on, I don't really know what that means. Um, but they're quite good condition considering they're, they're like white. I mean, look at that. I might even keep them for myself. I don't know if I can rock white Levi's, but yeah, as you can see, they're a great reflector for cameras. Next up, because they're exactly the same wash, honestly, completely like identical, pretty much, I'd be sure. They're just two pairs of black Levi's. Um, one is a 31 leg, the other is a 34 leg. Either way, they're both quite cool. One's a 34 length leg, the other one's a 30 leg. One's 31 waist, the other 34 waist. So they're just a variety and they're quite cool. So I just picked them up. Because everything was half price, t-shirts were £2.50. I just thought, grab as many t-shirts as possible because they're hard, they're £2.50 and if I want to sell them, I can sell them for at least like a five and I might like double my money back. I can at least make my money back on these, on these tops. The first one is this dog one. It's just got a Labrador on it and a couple of like small Labradors there. Um, it's got it on both sides, which is really cool. I like the double-sided like top ones. They're really, really. I just love them. But yeah, they're, they're, it's just a it's just a dog T-shirt, size large. Um, again, another double-sided T-shirt. I don't know who the hell these guys are. Just some random Asian band. I think they're a boy band. I want to find out. But can you Google Le Arc NCL, please? Nice band tee from the 2000s then. Knowledge. So this next one, I don't even know. I got it. I just saw like I don't know. It says Oh Miss on it. Um, it's bright red. Oh Miss, and on the back, this is the reason why I got it. It's Coca-Cola on the back, and I thought, that's cool. Next up, I'm, I have a big love for like the um, homage tees. I don't know the company that do those, and I saw this and it, I instantly thought of it. It's from 2006, I think, or it might even be a reprint. It's a size medium, Delta Magnum weight, and yeah, it's a, it's a horse riding t-shirt. It's from racing form, Turf Paradise is what it says, I think. Um, I don't know, 1956 to 2006, just looked like a cool t-shirt, uh, win at Turf Paradise, 50th anniversary t-shirt. I feel like these last two tops were like impulse buyers. This one is a Che, Gu a che Guevara, uh, some like homage tee, I don't know. I have to be honest, I thought this was someone completely different. I thought this was, what's his name, Fidel Castro, but it's not, and it's Che, che Guevara. Can you Google Che Guevara, please? So this guy is an in Argentinian communist. Great. Wish I'd known. Never mind. I've got itchy forehead. Yeah. So last up is this this top. It's like size small. Yeah. It's just got eagles on it. I think this is a size small, um, but it's got eagles on it and it looks really cool. That was my haul. I actually did like everything in this bag. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna try and do as much more videos as I possibly can. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, as you always do, even though none of you comment and none of you like the videos because I get more dislikes than likes when I start like towards the end of it. And for some reason, I gained more subscribers when I wasn't doing videos than when I was, because logic. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I feel like I'm in like a holy light under here. I'll catch you in the next video, which will probably be like, I don't know, next week if, if I'm lucky. I'm moving into a new house soon because I'm going back up to uni. So yeah, hopefully more videos. Anyway, see you later.